Hi, I'm Rebecca Carner, and today we are tuning towards being true to ourselves. So how are the ways, what are the ways that we don't stay true to ourselves? I really wanted to tap whew, into that and, and see if in this collective tuning we could really discover what's holding us back from being true to ourselves and just tuning towards the energy of as we move through all of what we have to do if we can sort of stay tethered to our inner selves and, and what's right for us, and, and if we even really know, do we stop and check in with ourselves? Oh, being true to ourselves, wow. Okay. So really focus in on this energy point. Everybody just take a nice, big, deep breath. It kind of feels like uh, I'm on a tilt-a-whirl. It's as if the suggestion of being true to yourself kind of spun everybody out. Um, whew. It's like there's a lot of energy around it, but, but there's also a huge disconnect. So it's like a swirl of charge. Whew, without too much ground. And it, it's making like a centrifuge. Oh, whew. Okay, all right. <laughs> maybe, before we can, maybe before we can be true to ourselves, let's just center into self. There we go. Whew. There we go. Um, don't worry about anything but just taking a breath. And whether you're sitting or standing or laying down, just imagine being centered in yourself. Nice, full, easy inhales and full, easy exhales and just arrive into the now, into the self. And imagine a tether going from the bottom of your feet down into the earth and that you always have this tap root of stable security always available to you. Nice. All right. Now we're going to come around. Wow, the feeling here is that it's weird. It's that we know all the things that we think and we drive our thinking so much and yet there's also this real strong sense of we don't know our own minds about things. How can you, how can you be true to yourself if you don't know what you've got if you don't know what you want. Whew. All right, same idea. And 
So breathe into self. It's okay. You don't have to know whether you're being true to yourself yet or not. Yeah. Okay. Just calm. And again, whether you're seated, standing, or reclining, imagine that same tap root that we just did down into the earth, but imagine it into the sun or the cosmic center, whatever works for you. This feels really sort of um, underpowered. It's starting to open up a little, but it there's a whole question of sort of inspiration, like, like there's a resistance to being true to yourself because you aren't inspired by you. So why would you sort of go to bat for something that doesn't uh, inspire you or ignite you? And I really want to speak to the to the wonderful uniqueness that is each of us all. Um, that we don't view ourselves as inspirational seems really sad to me. The universe is seeking to express itself through each of us individually. It can only create and expand through each of us as individuals. And it expands all around us all the time, but through each entity that is us. It's a unique manifestation of, of all the energy and all the potential that the universe has to offer. So how could then each of ourselves not be the most inspirational thing that you ever imagined? You know, there's only one me and the things that I do and, and what all comes out of me and comes out of my ideas, it can't come in that exact same way from anybody else. So I am both inspiring, I am inspired, and because I have this intrinsic, unique awesomeness, I can be true to myself. I'm, wor I'm worth it. <sighs> All right. Still trying to turn on the... this top energy point. Okay, I'm going to check in with a few energy points. It's interesting that the, when I finally got the Sun Star open and activated and running through the, the pervasive feeling was 
how can I be true to myself because I'm so insignificant is how it felt. Or not insignificant, small. It was like our inner selves felt really small. But it, in that smallness, there was a little kernel, like a seed of, okay, I might be little, but if I were true to myself, it would expand. Yes, that is correct. just all about the crown chakra. All right, so just going to work and pull off some of these limiting beliefs. Okay, so some of the things that came up were, how can I be true to myself? Because basically there's too, too much stuff in the way, and the stuff sort of felt like too many people. I can't be true to myself because I have to accommodate for this and this and this, or I can't be true to myself because I have, um, I'm sort of answerable to, or I feel responsible towards all these, all these different people. And, and the thing is being true to yourself isn't, <clears throat> isn't on a binary. Um, you can still consider others and be true to yourself. You can um, work with things that aren't your favorite. Yes. How can I be true to myself when there are so many things that aren't how I like them? So being true to yourself is, is an inside job. Um, there can be external things that you'd like to change or that you don't like about your life. Um, but always sort of knowing where you are in that will start to shift what, what is feeling in the field right now is like this insurmountable of sort of external circumstances that are giving us the mindset that we can't be true to ourselves. And, and we, we seem like one little buried seed under this compost pile of external circumstances. Um, and the, the sort of brilliant simplicity and maybe counterintuitive truth is that the more the little inner seed is true to themselves and considers what they'd like, that starts from the inside out, like from the little seed from under the compost pile. <clears throat> it it starts to emerge and it will start to shift in really imperceptible at first ways some of the external circumstances. It's not like I have to clear all this so that I can be true to myself. Start being true to yourself and then all this kind of shifts. Ha ha. Wow. Okay. That. That. There it is. Just check in. The best way to do it is just to start. 
even if today, even if today the question is, all right, I'd like to be true to myself, and what would that look like? Even if you can't really get there today, the point is to ask the question today and every day. And see what comes up going forward. And by starting this practice, how does that shift when we start to ask, what would, be, what would be being true to myself look like? All right. Well, in the end, it looks like uh, tuning towards being true to ourself, the first step, is asking, is making a practice of asking. If I were true to myself in this moment, what, are, what might that look like or what are all the ways that that could look like? And start first by imagining them. Answer the question. Ask the question and imagine and answer the question. Best wishes on everyone being true to themselves. If you'd like more information on frequency tuning or to book a session, please visit RebeccaCarner.com. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a wonderful time exploring what being true to yourself could even start to look like. Thanks.